Answer. Sounds like something out of a movie, UFO encounters here on Earth. But that's exactly what firefighters are now training for. Only on ABC 15, Christopher Sign shows us the disaster guide you'll be talking about. Sightings like the Phoenix Lights have generated questions and made believers out of skeptics. In this 600-page guide may lend credibility to UFOs. It's the Fire Officer's Guide to Disaster Control and said to be found in firehouses across the U.S. The book covers everything from fires to floods, but it's Chapter 13 that takes an unusual twist in firefighting techniques titled Enemy Attack in UFO Potential. It would not be remiss to give some thought to the part that fire departments might play in the event of the unexpected arrival of UFOs in their communities. The book, written by two retired firefighters, addresses what first responders could encounter. You may have engine trouble upon approaching the scene, and radio contact could be lost with your dispatcher. If at night your headlight could go out, the city could be blacked out, and your portable generators may malfunction. No, this took me by surprise. Believers like Jim Mann see the book as an opportunity. This is a real phenomena that we should deal with, we should deal with seriously. So, is it for training purposes or is it enough to warrant a UFO education red alert? This is something that could really happen in our lifetime. It even asks, how do you treat injured aliens? Are first responders aware of the potential physical injuries? Some fire chiefs have little confidence in disaster plans, especially those dealing with UFOs or enemy attack. We contacted several fire agencies regarding this book, and some even called us. However, not one admitted to using it for training, although some are aware it exists. Yeah, you know what, Chris? It just shows you that uh, serious professional people are starting to take this this whole uh, subject of UFOs and ETs. They're starting to take this seriously. Jim Mann investigates sightings and encounters for the mutual UFO network known as MUFON. This is a real threat to this planet. MUFON has its own investigative guide seen here publicly for the first time. And I don't think we're crackpots. I think that we're just people that uh, are, want to be aware of what's going on. We don't know where we came from. We don't know where we're going. And one of the authors of this book says many people miss the point regarding that chapter in UFOs, saying previously, quote, whether they exist or not is not the issue. It's the perceived existence which creates the potential for panic, injury, and even death. Reporting live, Christopher Sun, ABC 15 News, your Valley News Leader.